Hey guys, welcome back to Lisa and Company. Today we're doing a great Trash to Treasure in an open collaboration. Today's collaboration on Trash to Treasure DIYs is hosted by Casey at Coffee with My Sunshine and her co-host According to Cat. I rescued this satellite dish from a scrap bin on its way to a recycler. Check out how we turn it into a beautiful piece of home decor. First thing I did was fill the holes with some drywall spackle where it used to attach to the mounting bracket. Once it was dry, I gave it a good sand and a coat of, yup, my favorite, Kills Spray Primer. I'm going to let that dry for a bit and then we're going to get painting. When I started this project, I had no idea what I was going to use to paint it. I had some gray spray paint, I had this great hammered metal spray paint that has a beautiful finish, and I also had this sort of chestnut bronzy colored spray paint. After hours of Pinterest searching, I found the best tutorial was Yami at the Latina next door. I'll be sure to link her video so you can follow along. She uses these three colors in the folk art paint and it comes out great. First color up is Castle in the Folk Art line, and I'm going to use a small makeup sponge to put this on. There were moments when I felt like I'd been sponging away forever, but this is a pretty big piece. It is going to be a great focal point when I'm finished though. Next up is the dark gray from the brushed metal series in the folk art line. Now you can kind of see what I'm doing here. I'm going all over the place. I was really worried if I stayed in one spot, I was going to get sort of a real pattern showing up. And yep, you know what? I'm having flashbacks to the early 90s when we sponge painted everything. Tell me in the comments what you sponge painted during this great time. I'm pretty sure we did rooms, furniture, I remember a vase and a lamp. I'm confident that anything that didn't move got attacked by a sponge and some paint. The last color is brushed metal in pale silver. Now, if you take a look at that little makeup applicator, I went in and I just pulled off the edges. Because this was the last coat, I wanted to make sure I didn't have any straight lines in this finish. And Yami actually gives a great tip on sort of smooshing your sponge a little bit. That's my technical term. All done, and isn't it perfect for this big table we have in front of the fireplace in our family room? Of course, I filled it with seasonal pumpkins and some empty bottles with some great eucalyptus greenery, and I am thrilled with the way this came out. When I first picked up this tray, I didn't know if it was going to be a tray or a chalkboard or something we hung on the wall, but I'm thrilled with what it's turned out to be, and I'm glad it's going to live on in our home as this beautiful decor piece. If you enjoyed this video and you love trash to treasure and budget DIY and decor, make sure you hit that subscribe button and don't forget the notification bell and you'll be notified every time we upload a new video. Thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time.